Hey crew, welcome back for another GPU talk here. Today we're going to go over the workstation cards versus gaming cards and just kind of what to expect along the way. So I wanted to break this down by kind of comparing, uh, you know, the performance of a, of a workstation card versus a gaming card versus the price. So first off, we look at like an RTX A4000, which is the A designates the workstation variant um, versus an RTX 3070. I believe these to be about the same uh, power plant and the same processing power. Um, an RTX 3070 runs about $500, $600 maybe from a scalper, right? Um, and um, generally speaking, has about the equivalent processing power of an A4000. But an A4000 runs about $1,500 right now, $1,600. And so you're thinking like, well, how can that be and what's the variance? Um, granted, they look completely different, but at the end of the day, the processing power is about the same. The, the, the one thing that usually varies between workstation cards is actually the amount of RAM that they have. But then also that workstation cards are designed to run enterprise grade software and gaming cards are designing to run game software. That's essentially it. One uh, gaming computer or gaming hardware um, is designed to show things across the screen really fast and high FPS with high refresh, the explosions and particles flying everywhere and does a really good job of showing all that really fast information. Whereas gaming or as workstation G GPUs rather are really good at showing things reliably um, without crashes, without fails, with high detail and uh you know no problems like no issues they're designed to be run with these integrated integrated inter enterprise grade uh you know software which also means that they actually run a little bit slower about 10 percent from what i've seen um given my a6000 and a 3090 comparison so just real quick here we look at a 3070 we can look at the specs and we can compare the specs here the price is about 400 dollars um, the specs on an A4000, very similar, except with more RAM, and then we're looking at about $1,500. You can pretty much go up and down the entire NVIDIA chain and see these differences. Now, these cards aren't, aren't you know, identical and by any means. They have different internal components and, you know, certainly more RAM, um, but at the end of the day, you're paying more for about the same amount of processing power. Um, but you're really pay paying for that reliability on the workstation side, which is what we as engineers really like because one crash or one error can be an extremely costly mistake. So if we just move up the chain here and we look at a 3070 and compare that to an A4000, we can compare a 3080 to an A5000. Again, pretty much the same differences with an exponential cost increase, right? $2,500 for an A5000 versus, you know, uh, what is it, $799 for... Um, for a 3080 let's go ahead and check that out there graphics cards let's go ahead and look at the 3080 we're looking at 700 dollars for the 3080 right versus 2400 for an a5000 we stepped this up one more time we're going to go ahead and look at the uh the 3090 series a 3090 is about 1400 dollars retail and you go ahead and look at an a5000 now for about five thousand dollars if i believe uh 5500 last time i saw it let's go ahead and take a look yeah, about five thousand bucks, right? Forty nine ninety five, fifty one hundred, fifty three hundred. Scalpers have it for sixty two hundred, and so on. And essentially, you know, yeah, you get forty eight gigs of RAM instead of like the most you can get on a thirty ninety is twenty four gigs, um, which de you can definitely use forty eight gigs in the engineering world. Like I've been there. Um, I don't know if you can use forty eight gigs though in, in the in the gaming world yet. I haven't hit that mark yet. I've checked, but it's not there, right? It's not there. So that's my quick short take on um, on workstation cards versus gaming cards and then how they kind of align with each other versus price point and performance. Again, an A4000 is equivalent to like a 3070, an A5000 is equivalent to a 3080, and an A6000 is equivalent to a 3090. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your like and subscribe. I can't thank you enough. Stay curious and fight on.